Hi everyone, Sendro here, and it feels good to say that again. <laughs> Welcome to an update video, and a video to, I guess, celebrate um, my eight-year anniversary on YouTube. That's right, I, I've been a Let's Player for eight years, and a lot has happened over over that time and sorry <laughs> I guess the the first thing I want to say is thank you thank all of you for all your um all your well wishes and your uh, your comments in the uh, last video I put up which would be the a video where I told you about my father passing away, which was uh, really, really hard for me. Um, he He's a great man. Uh, he wasn't always the best speaker. He didn't always say, I love you, but um, he was kind of reserved that way. But... I always knew he did. He always worked hard and did his his very best for for us, his family, and for me, his son. Um, sorry, it's really emotional. <laughs> and I looked at the calendar last night and saw that today, now when this is going up. <laughs> Oh man, it's going to be July 6th, which is the channel anniversary. And I've been away from YouTube for the most part. I've um, commented, re replied to comments uh, every now and then. I didn't reply to any of the comments on the previous video. It was just really hard. But I, I want to thank all of you for all those comments that really, really helped. Um, not just for the, the wound of losing my father, but also for my confidence as a Let's Player, because that was um, very, very much waning. And to see old and new commenters, old and new viewers, leave comments on that and say how even when I thought I was a failure because it didn't work out as a career, you all loved the videos. You loved how I let's play, how I do my let's play videos. You enjoy um, my passion for gaming, um, how much I love video games, and um, my demeanor, usually. <laughs> and just the, the positive outlook I tried to put on the channel for dark times. And how I helped a lot of you who who left comments on that. How you um, were so thankful for my videos to help you get through a hard time. And I, I want to say you're welcome and thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for being a, a viewer, a, a passionate viewer, um, somebody who cares about not just my videos, but me and um, my love of games. So know that I read every single comment, all of them way more than one time <laughs> on that video, almost four months ago now. And I'm sorry that I have not been, not been around um, on Discord or um, not putting up any videos or anything. I'm sorry. It's just a really, really tough time for me. And couple that with I'm now, I we've moved, <laughs> me and my wife, because she got a new job during all this. It was just a crazy whirlwind of a few months as we moved and then uh, funeral and unpacking and 
her getting settled into her new job and us putting stuff where we want it to go, which even in a one bedroom apartment is way more difficult if you've never moved than you think. <laughs> um, but I want to say thank you and I'm sorry. I know all of you are going to say don't be sorry, <laughs> but that's just my nature. I'm sorry that I've not been putting up videos or anything. Just trying to kind of piece everything together um, and then topple, you know, put on top of all of that the state of the world with COVID, COVID-19, the coronavirus. And it's a, it was, is and was a really crazy time. But I want to say that I'm going to try and come back. Um, it's going to be, it's going to be difficult. Um, just because so much has, has happened to me and the setup's different. If I sound different, because we moved. I'm in a completely different room and I forgot to mute the TV. So if you could hear the TV, sorry. <laughs> I have hometown on HGTV. If you know HGTV, um, I like watching hometown. I think they're great. Uh, <laughs> random. I know. Um, sorry, I'm kind of a mess. <laughs> But I want to tell you that I, I want to Let's Play again. Um, I, after reading all the comments, um, it really makes me want to Let's Play again. And not because I want to try to make it a career like I always, like I always wanted to. That That's not going to happen. I, I know that. I know I always say shoot for the stars, and I still mean that. But um, just after eight years... 3,200 subscribers, though I have seen an uptick of subscribers recently, which is quite funny. I stopped putting up videos and subscribers went up. Make whatever of that as you will. <laughs> I'm better when I'm not doing things. <laughs> um, you know, all joking aside, thank you. Thank all of you, all your comments. Um, it reminded me of the passion I had for Let's Play, which was a, you, I, I kind of got lost the past several months. Um, and, you know, I kind of saw the writing on the wall that it wasn't going to become a career because I just can't get the views. Um, I And part of that's my fault. I don't advertise myself or anything like that. I'm just me. I don't put on a crazy show like a lot of other <laughs> big-time YouTubers do, but um, that's not me. I'm me, and those of you who do watch and are fans, um, friends. Quite a few of you have become friends. Um, you, you like my videos for how they are, how I am. And so I want to let's play again, not to try to make it a career, but because you all enjoy the videos and I enjoy making them for all of you for, like I said, to help you get through hard times like I just went through, like the world is going through right now. I want to get back to that, to doing videos for that. And us just having a lot of fun. And the pieces go where they may. And the person I have to give the most thanks to is my wife. Who's okay with that. With okay, she's okay with me doing this. Even though it's not going to, not going to bring hardly any money in like maybe 20 bucks <laughs> 20 bucks a month or something um by the way youtuber thing <laughs> you can find the links to patreon <laughs> and paypal down below <laughs> um click on those if y'all want it'd be it's always appreciative especially in these times but you can't give anything i understand because of these times 
but she's okay with me doing Let's Play videos because, A, it's how we met. And so it's very important for that reason. But um, she she just supports me um, in, in so many ways. She's a blessing. And, you know, like any couple, we get into arguments every now and then or we do something that kind of pushes the button of the other and then we're you know angry for a couple of minutes that's life <laughs> that's love <laughs> you're never going to 100 percent love the person sometimes you'll be angry <laughs> but i wouldn't trade her for anything in the world she's Amazing, wonderful, stupendous. I, I, I just start going through the dictionary for everything that means that I love her with all my heart. So I want to thank her for kind of being at my side. I, mean, that's, I get it. She's my wife, but she was really at my side. And I always try to be at hers, too, during... Um, times when she feels sad that I know that's all part of it but I just want to say she's she's wonderful and I love her with all my heart and uh, I guess that's kind of kind of it for for that subject um, one last thing before I kind of move on to where we're going like I did the whole where I've been, where I am, and where I'm going. Well, you got the where I've been, um, kind of. There are a few other things I want to tell you, but that'll come in the, the next kind of segment, quote unquote, whatever you want to call it. But well, one more thing before I uh, move on from the really sad stuff is, and this isn't actually really sad, but my dad, funny enough, is the one who got me into gaming. Um. My dad only had one arm. Uh, he lost an, uh, lost one of his arms in an accident. I don't know if I ever told told you all that. I can't remember. Uh, but he and he was that way, you know, before I was born. So I mean, he's always just had one hand. But uh, my thing was, my dad always did more with one hand than most people do with two. He was just a super hard worker, and he didn't let it stop him, which he'll always be a stronger, stronger person than me. <laughs> um, but he bought an NES, the Nintendo Entertainment System, for those of you that, that don't know. Uh, NES for short. And uh, he was able to play that with one, with one hand. He could stretch his hand out and hit the buttons on the controller. And uh, the the first game we had was um, a, a double pack that had Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt. It was my very first game. We, we played it a lot, and we would try to beat each other, see who could go farther. We would just take turns. And I finally ended up beating him over many, many months. <laughs> he would always get one step ahead of me. And I guess I'll never know whether he did that on purpose. That way he could, it always seemed like he was, you know, one, one step ahead of me. And I'll never know if that was just as far as he could get and then he would get a little farther or if he could have gone farther but he stayed right there to push me um i'll never know but i like to think that he was always trying to to push me and make me better and that that got me into gaming i, I we would play that in duck hunt and uh with the nes zapper which we had and uh, sadly, 
when games became more complex, he couldn't play video games anymore. Um, not that he was super into video games, but I was always really sad because I couldn't play video games with him. And it was from such an early time, you know, I was just a, a child, but I always cherished that, those, those memories of us playing Super Mario Brothers. And I hope you all have a memory like that with gaming that um, brings a smile to your face. And I hope maybe you have something on the channel that does that too, a memory from the channel. Because now it's been around eight years, and it's crazy to think about. Um, so, kind of doing the whole, you know, where I've been, where I am, where I'm going. Um, where I've been is... Kind of down the slump other than the past, you know, obviously. But um, the past month or so, I've kind of been you know, rereading the comments and, well, more than that, like month and a half, maybe two months. You know, reading the comments over and over that you all left on, on the previous video almost four months ago now. And um, just kind of starting getting the the wheels turning again it just it took me a long time it just took me time and i'm sorry for that to i i felt deep down i wanted to um try to let's play something again or stream or something but it just didn't want to fully fully go and i'm still not quite there I just I need a little more time, but I want to talk about a few games that I've played just briefly over the past four months. Um, kind of tell you some games that I played that I've really enjoyed, and I'm not going to be let's playing. Well, one of them I might have to because of the channel. What I've done, but um, me both me and uh, Finn Finn Feather Dragon is my wife. We've both been playing a ton of Animal Crossing. Um, we love it. Uh, the characters are great, and it's just a ton of fun. We've had an absolute blast with Animal Crossing. Uh, New Horizons. Animal Crossing New Horizons. You know, the new one for the Switch. New, quote-unquote. <laughs> Newest one. We've loved it. We had a, having a ton of fun with it. Still having a ton of fun with it. The new July update with the uh, being able to go into the the ocean and swim and um, find sea creatures that that's awesome and fishing tourney this Saturday we're super excited I'm especially excited um, I love fishing in games and Animal Crossing is no exception <laughs> um and we've been playing a lot of that uh, I've been playing a ton of XCOM 2. And if you're still with me on this video, I didn't think it was going to go this long. I'm sorry. But uh, thank you. <laughs> and if you are still listening, you're still here, uh, leave a comment down below if this interests you. Now, I don't even know whether I'd be able to record this or stream this or not. I have zero clue. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll understand why after I say what it is. I've been playing a ton of XCOM 2. Now, if you remember the disaster that was XCOM 2 when I first recorded it, I recorded it day one, it was a disaster because it was so poorly optimized that it didn't didn't run very well. I lost footage and it was it was a mess. Um but that was many years ago now. <laughs> Whenever XCOM 2 first came out. What, 40 years ago now or something? I don't remember when XCOM 2 first came out. But we, uh... I say we. Uh, we well, yeah. We, we still had a lot of fun with Let's Play, the few people that watched. At least at the end of the day, I had a lot of fun with it. Um, even though it was kind of a disaster of a Let's Play. 2016, okay. I just looked it up. 2016. 
And there's been a DLC since then, War of the Chosen, and some other little DLCs. War of the Chosen's awesome, by the way. But I downloaded a ton of mods for <laughs> XCOM 2, and I've been playing through a heavily modded XCOM 2 game and been having a ton of fun. If you would be interested in seeing some like real shenanigans in XCOM, again, I don't even know if it would record because my computer lags pretty bad trying to run XCOM 2 with all the mods. I don't know if it will, <laughs> if the recording software will even work. <laughs> Layering that on top of it, because recording software takes a lot of the RAM. And XCOM 2 with a lot of mods takes a lot of the RAM. So, who knows? But if you would be interested in me at least trying, let me know. Because that could be really funny and goofy. Uh, so I've been having a ton of fun with that. With XCOM, a hev heavily modded XCOM 2. I've played a few of those games now <laughs> with different mods, and it just gets crazier and crazier every time I find new mods to add in. Um, so I've been playing that a lot. Oh, uh, what else did we play? That that was kind of the main ones that I've... that. Play. Oh, the other one that I played that came out, and this is one that I might re-rent because I rented it. And... And let's play it because I'm a big RPG person. And that's Final Fantasy VII Remake. The, the remake Final Fantasy VII. If you've not played it, um, it's 30, 40 hour game. I think was my, my final time was a little over 40 hours. <coughs> and I didn't do the super hard stuff. Like, play through again on hard. Um, well, I did the first chapter on hard. But, um, I, pl I played through just the game and did a few side things. In case stuff carries over, we'll see at the end of the day. It's awesome. Like, let me, that that's what I'll say about it. I was, I was one of the most skeptical people about the Final Fantasy VII Remake. <laughs> about how... How it was going to turn out. Um, they they killed it. They knocked it out of the park. They absolutely nailed it. It was extremely well done. Um, very satisfying. They they did a great job with expanding Midgar and. Most importantly, expanding cloud. You get so much more of like personality with cloud through this. Like I always thought cloud was a super overrated character. People love FF7 and um I was always like, "Eh, cloud, he's kind of a loser." Like I, I never really liked Cloud's character at all. Remake changed everything. Remake Cloud is a fantastic character. Love his character now. And I hope they they keep keep him this way whenever part two comes out. Uh it, it he really he shines way more now. Uh, the battle system is the battles are very satisfying. Especially when you pull off limit breaks or moves just right, um, it's a bit more mature than the. You know, there's some cussing and stuff in it in FF7, but I love it in the remake. I love it. It fits. It doesn't feel like shoehorned in. It feels like yeah, I could totally see Cloud saying that. It it it's just awesome. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, I'm such a Final Fantasy person, RPG person in general, but especially like Final Fantasy, that I feel like I need to let's play it, <laughs> go through it again. I'd start completely over and just go through it again. Not that I would remember much anyway. Um, but it was a ton of fun. Uh, I would play it on the weekends with uh, my wife watching who who got into the story and 
she was really into it too. She wanted to see it like I did. And then I started playing and it's like, oh man, we're, I'm not going to play any of it unless she's here. So when she's off on the weekends, we would, we would do that. Um, a plus for the remake. So if you ever wondered what I thought, if you're a fan of the channel and knew I really liked Final Fantasy and you're wondering, have you played the remake? What do you think of it? Yes, I played it and it's amazing. Super good. So I might, I might re-rent it and let's play it. But that's that's mainly what I've what I've played, and um, had a lot of fun with everything I've I've played. Oh, we also got uh, Fifty One Clubhouse games. Uh, me and my wife, and we've actually been having a ton of fun with it. Um, all those board games and card games, uh, we. We have fun. It's a great game to just kind of sit back and if you just not want to play something heavy, you just kind of want to play a classic. It's like a classic board game or card game. It's it's a lot of fun. We've been really enjoying that too. So, what am I going to do? Well, I'm I've already said I'm I'm going to come back. I'm going to let's play again. Um what am I going to let's play? Well, I need to edit the rest of Super Lucky's Tale. <laughs> Since I left that off. Sorry, Lucky. Um, great game. Had a ton of fun with it. Uh, I need to edit those. They've been recorded since... Back then. <laughs> the four months ago or whenever. I've had them recorded. I just uh, never edited them. So, um, I plan on doing that this weekend. Trying to, anyway. Seeing if I can muster up the... The get up and go, the want to, the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Just to do it. Just the, the energy. Nah, that's not right. But you, you, hopefully you get what I'm trying to say. Just the, the want to do it. And uh, doing that this weekend. So uh, maybe next week, Super Lucky Sale. I have a few games that um, I had set aside that I wanted to to let's play in the future anyway. Um, so I might start recording one of those. Um, one of them is uh, Fell Seal, Arbiter's Mark, which I've played some of. Not a, not a ton, but I've played some of it. Uh, it's a tactical, uh, turn-based tactical game. Um, reminiscent of Final Fantasy Tactics. What I played, I enjoyed, so might might give that one a go. Uh, it's not, I think it's like a twenty dollar game, normally something like that. Uh, I got it on sale at some point. Uh, I have that one that I that I've thought about. Like I said, the XCOM, the heavy XCOM two, heavy modded XCOM two, because that could be crazy. <laughs> um. Cook Serve Delicious 3, I think, finally got out of early access. Um, I have some videos of me and Finn goofing around on the multiplayer. Uh, but I play through Cook Serve Delicious 3. Uh, seems to have plot and story, kind of like the first one. Um, I think it could be a ton of fun. I'm thinking about streaming it. I streamed the first two games. So, that, and the two games that really, I've really thought about Let's Playing for a while, is a game called Book of Demons. The only reason I haven't pulled the trigger on that one is because I would like for it to be a Starlight Let's Play. And, that's a lot of editing. <laughs> And I've not really been wanting to do a lot of editing lately. <laughs> um, for obvious reasons. Just did everything going on. Up in my brain. <laughs> so, uh, that one really interests me. I played just the tiniest bit of it and decided, oh man, you know, I'm going to save this. I might want to, let's play that. So there's that one. And the one that I'm probably, probably going to do 
is Earthlock. Um, it's been out for a while. It's an RPG. Um, I always remember. I, I don't remember much about it. Just that it always intrigued me. I had it on my wish list forever, and then, like, I don't know, six months ago or something, a while, while ago, I ended up buying it, and um, I was going to let's play it, and then stuff happened. So, there's that. If any or all of those <laughs> intrigue you, uh, CSD3, Cook Serve Delicious 3, Super heavily modded XCOM 2, where you could be a soldier if you want. Um, with some crazy classes that I've downloaded. Uh, Book of Demons. I'd have to definitely get through Super Lucky's Tale, and that one would be a real slow burn, Book of Demons. A, because I've never played it before, and B, it would be heavily edited. So keep that in mind and uh, Earthlock if any or all of those sound interesting let me know in the comments always your comments are appreciated especially on that last video thank you again so that's that's where we're at um, I might have something else going on like we'll see I have to look through I've gotten more Steam games um, since then from either Humble Bundle or a few gifts a few of you gifted me uh, games over the past few months thank you very much uh, maybe one of those that I've just not not thought about um, something on the Switch because we've gotten a few games on the Switch now. A lot of options. I gave you just a few. And we'll, um, we'll see where it goes. Thank you all very much. Super long video. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's, that's how I do though, right? <laughs> Thanks for watching. More listening. Thank you for listening. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for being around. Thank you for caring. Thank you for everything. And I hope to see not only a bunch of comments, but hopefully see you all soon, either on Twitch streams or with a new Let's Play. Until then, um, oh, the Discord should also be below as well join the discord people there are really nice friendly have a whole bunch of channels set up on there uh we can talk about a whole bunch of different things um i'm gonna try to be on that a little more <laughs> and try to pick things up and get going again that's that's the plan so again thank you and here's hoping that I'll have a new project announcement soon. Until then, I'm Sindral. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.